So this video follows up on the previous one, just gives you some practical examples of uh, what I was mentioning in the previous video. So this is a, a goal wing um, configuration. Um, it has here NACA 23012 profiles. It's actually quite uh, a well-known oldish helicopter blade profile because similarly to Taylor's aircraft you want low pitching moment coefficients for a helicopter blade to minimize the, the torque loads onto your rotor up and not twist your, your blade as this would be um, not what you'd want. So what was set up here is the NACA 23012 with your going pan form parameters that's there this is at 30 degrees sweep and the 23012 has low pitching moment coefficient <clears throat> and then there's um, negative twist or washout there at the tips and what this um, provides you with is the following here's the CM alpha curve and there's a trim point that's positive alpha that's what you want and there's your lift curve slope by the way um, there there are good videos on using this package which is called XFLR5 I'll leave a link in the description um, it shows you how to use um, this program to calculate your stability derivatives so let's have a look at this profile at a typical trim point. Now here you can see <clears throat> the washout that was added um, deviates significantly from your ideal elliptical lift distribution. But this wing will work. It will just not be very efficient. So what to do about that? Um, the Pitching moment coefficient of the 23012 is low, but it's certainly not as low as it can be. So um, I shopped around for some um, airfoils on the internet and got this derivative of the 23012, which is the 23112-75. It's from this website. Um, and I downloaded that and then subsequently made a similar wing but with that profile um, and here you can see that the trim is at a bit of a lower angle and if we can just bring up that butter it should be slightly improved to what we see <coughs> with the 23012 straight there we're starting to look a little bit better. The trim angle was, was quite low here, um, 0.2. So let's go back down there, so 0.5. Still not great. So still not ideal, but probably a little bit better. So then I went to the same website a little bit further down where they've got this low drag flying wing airfoil um, then enter that that one into the into the program it's called the ronks um, so this one it's got that just to show you it's that ronks airfoil and then the trims still there and now we should see hopefully a little bit closer to an elliptical distribution now this is by no means ideal but it's better than the previous two and this just illustrates um, more or less the process that you would go through to um, select and improve your your airfoils and you would play around with the twist 
of the wing in this area to get this up to there, to this elliptical part. Um, a lot of the things I'm talking about are, I found off of this website, which I recommend you, you go and read through. A lot of interesting information there and on the design of, of flying wing models. And I just sort of applied it to, to the gull wing with these examples. I hope you, you found this um, informative and maybe it will help you design your own flying wing.